We're bragging here about today. It was nice and yes. it was sunny. And but sunny. I got to go to sleep because I'm going to actually gain an extra hour finally, huh? I gift you one hour of sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to fall back those clocks. Of course, that's the big uh, difference uh, tonight. We're going to change the clocks. First, let's talk about this morning and temperatures. Uh, most locations were above freezing for a change. 38 was the official low at DFW, but you can see how Denton actually got below freezing again. Waxahachie was right there at 33 degrees. So yeah, it was a it was certainly a chilly morning across most of North Texas, but it was not as cold as it had been there. As I widen out the view, see some of the other temperatures. Sun getting ready to set, and this is the big change, of course. You know uh, what the time is changed coming up. 63 was the high today after that low of 38. So it turned out to be a great afternoon. We had a little bit of a South wind there. So there's the sun heading towards horizon. Now it's going to drop below horizon at 636. Tomorrow, of course, after you fall back the clocks tonight, that'll be it happened at 648. There's a big difference. Uh, 535 is the sunset tomorrow. So it gets dark early, but this evening, at least, temperatures be falling down into the 40s. Overnight lows, uh, again, will not be as cold as they've been. We're going to have an overnight low of 39, 40 degrees over most locations over the Metroplex, so there'll still be a little frost here and there. A chilly start, certainly. A little bit of a breeze as we cross the afternoon, and temperatures get into the upper 60s tomorrow. But on Tuesday, we're going to be 70. I'm skipping ahead because I need to talk to you about this rain chance. It starts to show up Tuesday, but really, when Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night is our better chance of rain. Then the front comes through. This is going to be interesting on Thursday. Temperatures will be in the 60s in the morning, and the rain chances will really start to pick up. Then we get into some heavy rain that crumbs through, and the temperatures are going to drop behind that front on very strong winds. Probably by the end of the day, we're either in the low 50s or upper 40s by the end of the day. And the rain chances are pretty good on Thursday. They jump up to 60%. So we've got a pretty good rain event ahead. Of course, we're going to fall back those clocks. Temperatures uh, tomorrow, 68. Then a couple of 70s in store for us Monday, Tuesday. We'll almost get there on Wednesday, despite these rain chances that really peak Wednesday night and Thursday. Then much colder. Look at, thir look at Friday with temperatures in the 30s as we start that day. Okay, sir.